A custody battle caught on tape. The state comes calling shortly after an Austin mother gives birth. Our top story, an Austin mother cries out for her newborn child, but the state of Texas says she's an unfit mother. Well, Judy, the state says that Shirley Hauser and her husband don't deserve the chance to raise their two-day-old daughter. The question tonight is, when the state steps in and takes a baby, is it kidnapping or protecting a child from danger? Shirley Hauser left the hospital with a birth certificate, but no baby. Sir, there's no, there's no warrant. I just checked it out. I just... This dramatic scene at Brackenridge Hospital unfolded Tuesday as Child Protective Services took custody of two-day-old Jocelyn Hauser. It was recorded on home video by family friend and advocate Mike Hansen. They told me if I didn't give them my baby, they were going to arrest me. Much of the confrontation was over this notice of emergency removal from the Department of Protective and Regulatory Services. It was not signed by a judge, but it declared baby Jocelyn would have a risk of physical neglect if she were released with her parents. CPS maintains it has 24 hours to get a judge's signature. A day later, still on pain medication from a cesarean section on Sunday, Hauser longs for her baby. I just, I stayed awake. We felt it was in the best interest of the baby that uh, we take temporary conservatorship. We had had considerable history with that mother. I didn't neglect my baby one bit. I took all my prenatal vitamins. I ate properly. I didn't drink. Hauser admits she's had problems, but says she still wants her baby back. All I want is a chance. A chance to prove that I can do what I, thought I know I can do. Now, the law allows CPS to remove children without permission from a judge in certain emergency situations. Today, a Travis County judge signed a court order giving the state temporary custody of Jocelyn. There will be another hearing within 14 days. And, Judy, this is not that uncommon. The state removes an average of 42 children a month here in Travis County. Whatever happened to due process here in the United States? Whatever happened to innocent to proven guilty? You know, I've spent several hours over the weekend reading over the case history of Mrs. Hauser. And it turns out she's never done anything to her children. They even admit that. She's been poor. And she went to the government for help with welfare. What Mrs. Hauser didn't know is that after the state has sucked hundreds of thousands of dollars out of the feds for each child, that they then adopt the child out for a couple hundred thousand more. And then there's no investigation of the foster parents. Did you know you're five times more likely to be abused in the foster parents' homes? There's definitely a place for people to be criminally charged to abuse their children. But grabbing someone's children just because they're poor and ignorant Again, that harkens back to eugenics that went on right up until 1979, where they drop by and grab your children and sterilize them. And again, that was the social workers at that time. There's so much tyranny that comes in the form of white lab coats and bureaucrats. But don't take our word on it. Read from social workers' own dominant textbook used in most colleges. The number one textbook, Arthur Calhoun's A Social History of the American Family teaches young social workers, and I quote, the family goes back to the age of savagery, while the state belongs to the age of civilization. The modern individual is a world citizen served by the world, and home interests can no longer be supreme. As familyism weakens, society has to assume a larger parenthood. The school begins to assume responsibility for the functions thrust upon it. The kindergarten grows downward towards the cradle, and there arises talk of neighborhood nurseries. Social centers replace the old-time home chimney. The child passes more and more into the custody of the community experts. And it goes on and on to say that the family will end so world government can have its way with a socialist commonwealth. This is their own top textbook. They're not even hiding this. They've got a hit out on the American family, and they've sold you that it's okay. You're saying, well, they had never done anything, but they might be crazy, and, uh, well, we really shouldn't let them have a child. Look at that baby. Look how beautiful that baby is. They'll get hundreds of thousands of federal funds, especially they put it on a couple psychotropic drugs, and then they'll adopt it out to somebody. They didn't even have a warrant, nothing. Show up and grab it. And, and, and by the way, she has a house, she has a car, her husband has a job. All of this, we've read the reports, they took her other kids for no reason either. 
I mean, this is incredible, ladies and gentlemen. Now, because they haven't taught us our Bill of Rights or Constitution, they don't need warrants, they don't need anything. I don't care how many jackboots say it's okay and how many kangaroo courts and bureaucracy say it's okay. Pull the baby off the mother as she was breastfeeding. They took her behind closed doors, but this is what happened. She told us. She was begging. They said, you must come for a psychiatric evaluation. And so the police grabbed the baby off of her. Again, like the Soviet Union. Here she's been uh, in my room I, for I two know days that. straight. No, no problems, no upset. medical problems, yeah. no health problems. And let me just make this clear for the for documentation. There is no risk for this baby, and there's no reason the CPS should be taking this baby again. Last time. No. There's no, there's no reason why this baby should be taken away from you, right? Right. There's no reason at all. And let's make it clear to the audience that the CPS is outside the door right now. Yes. Uh, the CPS worker, and I've already talked to her, told her that I was involved with this situation. She's going to call the supervisor back, and, no, no. and we will. should know in about 10 minutes whether they're going to take the baby or not. Yeah. The last child was taken from me, and they said I didn't have uh, proper housing. But we, we was living in a motel and we was working hard trying to get a place. And they still took our child. And uh, this this CPS case worker that's here today said that she didn't see that there was any problem as long as there was a roof over our kid's head. And they took our kid last time because cause they said we didn't have proper housing. And, uh, and that's not right. This case worker said that she thought that was proper housing. But the last case, we just took our kid because they said it wasn't proper. Yeah, but being being poor is not a reason well, to take children. She's not taking her. I have to no. and I need you to... We're not signing. I'm not signing nothing. Yeah, there's no physical neglect. You guys ain't got proof. I, you guys lost the other You guys don't have some paperwork. I'm not taking her. Do you have a court order? This is an emergency removal. Okay, it's signed by who? It okay. Judge it's an emergency removal that is good for 24 hours okay. until I see the judge tomorrow. Okay, who is it signed by? And who, who? It's, it's, signed, it's mine. Signed by who? It's just information to the family that we are removing the child. Okay, but it's public here. information. Who is it signed by? I need it's, to not signed by it's, anybody. Anybody. it's not signed by anybody. It's not signed by anybody. Okay, we and it's still not have not the right, we legally have the right to take And I have legally have the right to okay. keep my baby in my chair. They said that she could leave, and we were on, they were on their way out the door. Who said she could leave? Uh, the doctor. hospital. Okay. We Not did. with the baby. Yes, with the baby. Without the baby. No, she can leave. Anybody else who's in here wants to leave, she can leave, but not the baby. The baby's staying here. No, the baby's coming. The baby's not even supposed to be discharged until tomorrow. Well, you all took my kid last time on the second day, and what are you saying that for? Well, the child is going to stay here. No, she's not. Um, under well, our unless custody. you get a court order. Not until you get a court order. We, are, we have legal rights. Go get a court order. Okay, who, no. who, who, I want a warrant. Hold on, hold on. Okay. We have 24 hours yeah. from the date that we remove the child. Okay, but to it's not. She's not doing anything. I, we have documented that this woman has taken care of her baby. She's fed her baby on time, and that there's no neglect here. I understand that. Physical neglect. Oh God, physical. Yeah. Oh my God, she's just based on history. Based on history. So we won't let her um, pass. Well, nope. I, I really am shocked to be American at this time. I'm very shocked. Because I, I have known this couple and they have, and I went to trial and everything, and they have really done what they were supposed to do to take care of children, and now they're being, uh, their child's being taken. So you're telling me you can take my child without a judge signing no piece of paper? I will, or I will, well, I have to legally present the case in front of the judge within 24 hours. Hello? Um, yeah, please, uh, they're taking the baby right now. At that They're taking time, it, my God, it's, it's happening right now in my face. The judge determines whether whether we can keep the child. Okay, I reckon your child's doing the law. Yeah, I can, I can. You are not the law. We have the right legally to take that child if we believe that there is risk or there is. A well, you sat here and said that. Well, there wasn't. I didn't say that there wasn't. Yes, you did. No, you sat there you and did. told me I that. We got that, that on tape, yes. You I, didn't see no problems. I didn't. You had to call your superiors what you told me. I had to call them to okay, see if they're... Okay, they're saying this because of her past. Okay. But as this child, you didn't see any problems. Okay. I didn't... Okay, now what you're saying telling that you're yeah, up here taking it right now. From what you're telling me, it did not appear that there was a problem leave. with the way your situation was right now. We, I didn't say that there was a problem... Um, are you with CPS too? No, specifically. What? Uh, Mrs. Wolf, are you? Who are you with? But we're, we're basically on risk. But you're doing what you're doing.